What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of JDM for All. As you guys can see, we are working on the CRV today. This is the second gen lifted CRV and we are actually going to be changing out the, a the AC compressor and uh, this should be a pretty quick video. I am going to cover the basics, let you guys know what we're changing, let you know uh, basically the basic steps to get this done so you can get this job done as fast as possible because we did do this a couple of years ago and it was uh, it was a little more difficult because we didn't know what we were doing, mostly because it is pretty hard to get the AC compressor out because that is a small spot, but we are going to be uh, taking it out today, guys. I'll let you guys know all of the steps, um, but it's actually, it's not too difficult, but it is definitely a job. As you can see right now, my brother is taking off the serpentine belt, the uh, accessory belt, and uh, trying to loosen up the tensioner. And then uh, basically that's step one. All right, guys, so we just took off the belt. It is off right now. Now we did loosen up the subframe a little bit just so we could get to the bolts. Uh, one of the bolts are already out. You can see the other one right there. Let me give you guys a better look really fast. There they are. Right one is out, left one is loosened. Now we are working on the fittings. I don't know if you can see, but there are fittings on the lines. We are going to be loosening those right now. Obviously, guys, you do want your Freon vacuumed out before you do loosen up the lines. But yeah, we're going to loosen up the lines and then I'll be back. All right, guys, so we just got two mounting bolts off and two lines, both of the lines off. So now all we have to do is get the top bolts out, which would be these right here. This is the new compressor that we are going to be using and we're trying to get these uh, top bolts out really quick. And then I'll show you guys how we are going to pull the compressor from that area. All right, guys, so this is the new compressor. Like I said before, I did find this on eBay for $160 or like $150 some dollars. Um, and it ended up coming out to like 180. All of the auto part stores that had these in stock um, in this area basically had them for around 270 and up. Some of them had them for like $400, but they were all mostly around 300, which is pretty expensive. But this one was on eBay for only uh, like $160 and it is brand new. So we are going to be using this one and uh, installing it, like I said before. So the ad did say it wasn't remanufactured and uh, it said it was brand new. So that's always a good thing. I am always a little weary about buying remanufactured stuff. And I have used parts that were remanufactured without any problem, but I did want to get this brand new because my last one failed and I'm pretty sure I know why it failed. I probably will make a video about it. So one of the easiest ways to get this compressor out from this area is to, these are the pulleys over here. This is the subframe. You want to loosen the subframe and get this mount right there out, which is the mount for the AC compressor. You want to take it out and then you'll have the space with the subframe loosened to get the compressor through here. So it's been a couple days since the AC compressor was changed. We did vacuum it that night and put it all back together and charge it. And uh, it wasn't working. So I'm going to let you guys know what we did to actually fix it. And it's a very simple uh, solution. So you guys see that plug right there? It was not plugged in right. And the AC compressor wouldn't engage. Once we actually figured that out and started messing with it, it did engage. I don't know why it wasn't plugged in or working right, but now it's working great, guys. The AC is super cold and it works great now, so I am happy that we figured that out. So if you guys do have issues with your AC not kicking on, it might be because the plug is not plugged in right or uh, something to do with the plug. So on mine, the wire wasn't going into the plug right, so it wasn't actually uh, plugging into the AC compressor plug right, but now it works great, guys. So I am definitely happy. The AC is working great, and my CRV is put back together. So I am going to take her in for a wash today, guys. She definitely needs it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.